Hi, uh, this is uh, Rooney207. Uh, welcome back. For uh, today's uh, episode, we'll talk about uh, Splinterlands' uh, upcoming uh, promo card. And this is going to appear on uh, May 2nd. And this uh, this is Zareel. She's the uh, first uh, multi-summoner. She's a uh, life and death. And as you can see, the the artwork there, it's uh, pretty amazing. Um, and uh, you, you can see, and I, I think we'll, we'll go through, there's a, the lore uh, section on the bottom, but you can see her um, her wings are uh, torn apart, and also she has a, a bow here, and I think that's the representative uh, reflection of the uh, sins that she's uh, committed, and she's kind of grown stronger from, uh, post the uh, sin, kind of like our uh, crypto and uh, decentralized uh, blockchain, and uh, learning uh, how to separate and... Um, be, become uh, stronger from uh, the uh, the banking uh, the US um, uh, swift uh, money uh, system and it's uh, learning how to put your uh, money into uh, crypto and things like that um, so it's uh, kind of that uh, evolutionary uh, path so Zareel, she's um, she's an interesting one uh, uh, like I had um, mentioned she's a dual element so she's life and death uh, so that she's uh, pretty useful I, I think on on average and I, I think here, uh, 15,000 uh, BCX, uh, it's going to be a little bit more than your usual uh, legendary uh, promo. Something, I think like Lux has 1,000, and typically they range somewhere around 1,000. But this one, if you max it, it'll be closer to uh, 1,400 or a little bit less than 1,400. So the, I, I think the, um, the max combined version is uh, 40% uh, more than your uh, your typical and this uh, the sale will begin on uh, May 2nd at 4 p.m. Uh, Eastern time or uh, 20 uh, UTC the and then the uh, the price for surreal it's uh, 80,000 DEC or credits um, I think originally uh, when the previous town hall they had mentioned only the DEC and then the uh, today's uh, town hall, um, Aggie had mentioned uh, credits, and then here we have the official confirmation that it can be in either token. Th this helps because I think um, not every player uh, will be able to ha have the DEC, and it's an inconvenience for them to acquire DEC. So this way it goes to the team, and the team can kind of manage that through the uh, PayPal process or other crypto. The, um, the the other um, aspect typically of all promo cards is you get 50% discount through the voucher system and the uh, voucher will be at the rate of 25 so that's roughly max 160 um, the vouchers uh, you, you can use for uh, for this particular one and um, this this one the um, <laughs> excuse me uh, the DECB token uh, will not be able to be used so they're not qualified uh, for uh, promo and I think it's uh, it was written when we uh, purchased um, DECB. There's a note there as well, and I, so I, I think in terms of price, your uh, your best bet if you're just looking to make money is probably just to sell your voucher at the higher rate because right now it's at eleven twelve cents. Uh, I think a little bit um, prior to that was under 11, under twelve cents, and now it's uh, kind of starting to inch up. And as we get closer to May second and in the um, the 30 day uh, period that is available, there's um, a high probability that the uh, voucher may uh, come close to the 25 cents because um, I think uh, very few people would uh, would actually if they uh, don't maybe if they need it they would pay close to the 25 cents. Uh, otherwise, I think um, uh, there's probably a, a mechanism that you can actually just buy it through the um, the shop. It'll. Um, I think. I, I don't know if um, Splinterland's gonna build have that built-in uh, feature where they'll sell you the vouchers directly for twenty-five cents as well. So um, there's. Uh, it'll probably come close uh, to twenty-five cents, I guess. Uh, let's see. The uh, so here the trick is if you're um, you can afford it uh, to buy tw increments of 25 BCX because there's uh, you're guaranteed for every 25 uh, BCX to get a gold foil. So I, I think this is where you make the money, and this is the justification, I believe, for the uh, $80 uh, price tag uh, for roughly or 80,000 DEC, however you look at it, because uh, DEC is a little bit, I think it's... Um, it's at 80% uh, around peg value, so it's a little bit less. It's um, 65 bucks, uh, give or take. Uh, 
So I, I think um, if you're if you're looking to to do a deal, I think uh, either you uh, work with someone, you uh, pool your resources, and you buy 25 BCX, or you can uh, just buy 25 and take your chances. I think if you buy anything under uh, 25 BCX, either uh, from a pool or non pool, um, I think it's probably uh, not a good deal. And I think you're better off just uh, essentially buying the vouchers and then uh, selling the, um, the the vouchers and making your margins um, from that from that uh, period from the period of time here. So I, I think you can uh, make money this way instead of um, trying to uh, take the chance of just buying a regular gold foil. So the uh, stats uh, on uh, Zuriel. So she has the uh, the weapons training, the life leech. Uh, the the ability to absorb um, this is uh, for the sun uh, there uh, to absorb a hit there um, and then uh, the uh, rust uh, piece uh, let's see I um, so I, I think and then it's uh, seven mana uh, and then I so this I think what makes is the range of the five uh, attacks she's a little bit slow but um, I think if you're playing in a um, in a slow rule set, uh, reverse rule set, it could reverse speed uh, rule set. It could work in your favor there. So I, I think it just depends on the circumstances. Uh, all in all, given the current relative price and even as a dual element, it's a little bit hard. But I, I think um, like all promo cards from Splinterlands, it'll most likely uh, sell out within the period of time, and uh, there will be enough people uh, taking chances on on it. I don't know. Um, what the expectation is long term on the regular foil it would probably be less than the uh, 80,000 uh, DEC long term at least for the uh, current uh, market uh, situation but the gold foil should do well so I think that's it that's why you wanted to uh, pool your resources and buy the 20, uh, 25 BCX uh, for that uh, this is so it, it's also nice, like when you use uh, Zeril in the land and things like that, you get the bonuses uh, here. It, it talks about the uh, plus 10% uh, terrain bonus. So I, I think, um, I, I'm not sure how many people would actually use uh, her in, in a land setting, but um, that's a consideration. Uh, let's see here. And uh, like I said, uh, it's a 30-day uh, expiration uh, period. Um, I believe it. I believe it's thirty days, uh, something like that. And then um, this is the uh, the lore for Zareel, and it's kind of uh, what I uh, had referenced the sins uh, and things like that she committed. And so she's um, uh, she's willing to live with it, and she's uh, she thinks uh, she comes out stronger uh, at the end. So I, I think overall this uh, this monster card is uh, is very good. But I, I don't know if it's uh, worth the 10% uh, uh, for the promo, the RPs, and the, the potential for uh, for land and all the um, pieces. But I think if you're able to uh, pull your money in a pool or to buy 25 BCX for the gold, I think it's probably worth it long term for uh, for uh, for this card. Um, for uh, for me, I'm um, I'm gonna pass on it. Um, I think there's gonna be enough people that will buy, so it'll uh, most likely uh, sell out. I'm pretty sure of that um, uh, card, and I, I think it'll it's a good addition to uh, the artwork is uh, fantastic. So I, I think it'll it'll all work out. Uh, this is um, yeah. So I'll, I'll pass on it, and um, this is it. Thank you so much.